Oh no, I'm in trouble now. They got me. Check it out, fam. My truck broke down in the middle of the road. Everybody's honking at me to get my truck out of the way, but ain't nothing I can do about it. Just locked up on us. Got the cops here, ready to write me some tickets for my truck being in the middle of the road. We're holding up traffic too. This is terrible. I'm just kidding, the cop was really nice. I told him what was going on and he's just kind of keeping an eye, helping us out with traffic here, rerouting cars. Okay, so I just got off the phone with roadside assistance and they said that they're gonna send a wrecker to call me and it's up to them if they wanna come and pick us up. What? And it's uh, it's six o'clock, cop is being nice, you know, he's kind of helping with traffic. Before he came, I had people driving by yelling all kinds of things at me. Cause God forbid, you, you break good down. human being and right. be patient with people who are broken down. I will say this though, I did have two individuals stop and they tried to help us push my truck and the transmission must have went out on it because it's completely locked up and we could not push it it was four of us trying to push that truck yeah that seems to be the problem something transmission related sucks because i needed my truck too but it's all good oh that is nice look at that chevy running look at that chevy running meanwhile i have a ford f-150 that's about a year and a half old with 30,000 miles that broke down on the side of the road. Unreal. And that thing's still running. All right, I'm not gonna knock on Ford, but I am. Don't get a Ford. You know what Ford stands for? Found on road dead. <laughs> That's exactly what's right. going on there. Yeah, some guy was like, get that piece of crap out of the road. And Tiffany was like, think well, get off the road. <laughs> get off the road. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But somebody did say that. We didn't say anything back. Look who's there? It's my Maximo. Big shout out to Hernando County cops, man. Super nice guy. If it wasn't for him right there, like, I don't know, it could be a disaster out here. So I just spoke with the wrecker and they're not gonna be here for another 67 minutes. Okay, is that the, all right, he did say that another sheriff was gonna be coming and taking his place because he was getting ready to get off. I feel like we're in witness protection. I know. Well, I mean, it, this, it is kind of hazardous. Like, this is one of the busiest intersections in Spring Hill. It's called the Four Corners. If you've ever been here, Spring Hill Drive, Mariner, very, very busy road. A lot of accidents happen here. Could have been worse, so I could have been actually like right, like blocking the intersection. All right, see, they're gonna trade places, which is great. I'm glad he didn't leave, because, oh man. <laughs> All right, I'm getting thumbnail <laughs> shots right now. Tiffany's idea. I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. They found all the drugs. I mean, all they're gonna find in there is some oregano. We bought some oregano for the chickens. Lots of oregano. A lot of oregano. We're gonna plant it. If you didn't know, oregano is really good for poultry's digestive systems. It's a natural antibiotic. Yeah, natural antibiotics. Tiffany's so kind. She's like, you know, it's really hot out there and those police officers are out there risking their lives for our safety. We should get them some water. Maybe even a Snickers or Reese's. What do you think they'll like? They don't have donuts here. Uh-oh. What's going on? Oh my gosh. That's not for us, is it? I don't know. Are we like really blocking traffic? Please, it's right here. Where are you going? Oh wait, yeah. Hallelujah! Yeah! yeah. All right, this is gonna be a treat to watch. Yeah, look, the back end is just dragging. Yeah, something definitely happened there. Must put those things underneath to have the back end slide a little bit. My beautiful truck. What happened to you, man? That is embarrassing. I'm trading you in. I'm done with you. That is pretty cool. Oh, look at that. I just put a brand new air freshener in there. It still smells good. Here she goes. All broken down. On to the Ford dealership to get your ass traded in. Look how cool this place is. Big shout out to our friend, Jess. Aw, give me a kiss. Kiss your loved ones, sorry for your loss. Love always, Jess and family. Oh, Jess, I love you so much, thank you. Oh, these are so pretty. Wow, look at that, always and forever in our heart. Aw, I love these, Jess. Oh, it has a little wind chime. This is so pretty. Look how pretty this is. Oh, and it has a wind chime? Yeah. Okay, this is. Those are beautiful flowers. I know, I love it. It's really pretty. So Tiffany thought that this was a lemur. I'm like, no, 
it's definitely a fox squirrel. So in case you've never seen, they're a lot bigger than regular squirrels. Look oh, at it. Look. <laughs> what the heck? What is he doing? Oh, Did he die? Yeah, they definitely look different. They're a lot bigger. They're like twice the size of a regular squirrel. Maybe three times the size. He's got an itchy. <laughs> what is he doing? Maybe he's got ants in his pants. He's quite a character. I can see how you would think he's a lemur. <laughs> <laughs> what are y'all doing? Yeah, babies. Hey, Melissa. Hi, Rodriguez. Hey, it's okay. Hi. How are you guys doing? They're so shy. Well, in case you didn't know, oregano, like we were mentioning earlier, is very good for poultry. So we're gonna plant some of these and I don't know, I hope they allow them to grow a little bit because we do have a lot of rain here in the summer. Miss Piggy, what are you doing, Miss Piggy? She's just eating all the leftover duck food. You guys wanna come out and play? Come on, come on and play for a little bit. Chickens are so good. As soon as it starts getting dark out, they'll go right back in here and perch and, or they'll go in their little, little uh, nesting area. Hey, Tommy. How you doing, mister? Having a good day? Go get your ladies. <laughs> oh, oh. Jack, no. Great pair of knees get a little food aggressive. Oh, I'm gonna try to cut him. He won't do nothing to you. Hey, hey, buddy. Okay, he's good. Hey. Oh, okay. <laughs> Bugs. Hey, guys. You want some? There's some buggies. <laughs> Chickens are a lot friendlier than ducks. We'll say that. I mean, they're both friendly. They're just, you know, they'll come and hang out with you. They'll sit on your lap and stuff. They'll let you pet them sometimes. I mean, sometimes. Hi, come here, be nice. You guys want some of this? You guys want some of that? Come on, eat up. Don't be scared. It's a little oregano. Come on. All right, I'm gonna plant some over here. Okay, I know this looks like just some weeds, but that's where I planted the oregano. I'm hoping that just kind of grows into a nice big bush. So hopefully the the chickens won't tear it up too much. I'm thinking they might though. Oh, how you doing, baby? You're such a pretty girl. Dak, you gonna be nice to my chicken? Ah! Did he just bite her? No, she snapped off on him. Okay, she has PTSD from these dogs. I'm sorry, they're gonna protect you one day, I promise. Mm -hmm. Okay, there you go. All right, go play with your sisters. Water them up a little bit. Watch out, my baby girl. Oh, yeah. How are you doing? You want kisses? You want kisses? Give me, give me. So that's why I blow on her. That's how llamas communicate using, like, breath, right? That's how they recognize you. That's how they recognize you. That's what it is. Is that daddy? What are you doing? It's the garbage can. Hey, Lamar. <laughs> Don't follow me. I said, don't follow me. Red light stop. Green light go. Red light stop. <laughs> Green light go. Y'all ain't getting no food. You got plenty of grass to eat. The food is a treat. Give it to them every once in a while. Look at Miss Piggy. Miss Piggy has a little hole that she goes under, look at that. She's so smart. She thinks I'm gonna be feeding her too. Look at her. All she cares about is food. You ever wonder why pigs are so hungry? Maybe their taste buds are just so good. Like remember being a kid and you used to eat things and you were like, wow, this tastes so good. And now when you're an adult, you're like, eh, maybe it's too sweet. Remember the very first time ever I had cheddar sour cream ruffles? Oh my gosh, it was like a flavor explosion. Yeah, I still like them now as an adult, but as a kid, what you doing, Nuno? You're watching the lizard? <laughs> and new feelings. Every second of nature. Oh no! In case you didn't know, today is vet day. He's always in the business. Oh yeah. She's like, what are you doing? 
getting these guys checked out here. So we are getting some fecal testing done. That's pretty good. He's probably like a four of a two. Four? Four of a two. Okay. We're checking out their eyelids for parasites. So I got charged at by Mona and uh, I nearly got crushed by her when we closed the garage door. Yeah, right over here. I ran into that and... Oh. Wait, who was that? That was Noma. <laughs> Sound like a human. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, she's so dramatic. I hear you. Don't knock the booty, it's dramatic. Oh, that's okay, baby. Is it necessarily true that if they wag their tail a lot, they have parasites? No. No? They do that all the time. Oh, okay. Ew, not right on my feet. So this is a poron anti-parasite. Whoa, you okay? Yeah. It's an occupational hazard. What the hell? Is she <laughs> no, she's good. What the and then these guys also are gonna get some uh, parasite medicine as well as some flea medicine. Somebody found their pool. <laughs> That's a rough life for Miss Piggy. Very rough life. What happened on my oregano? It's a little bit there. I think the ducks were going to town on it. That's that's good. That's why we put it there. I just let the chickens out. Animals are doing good. We did get fecal testing done on the llama, my llama Macy, and the three goats, just to you know make sure they're all right. But if you ever have animals, you want to check for parasites. You look in their eyes, like down in the, you know, the red part when you go like that. If that part is white, hey, stop it. I don't got no food. If that part is white, that means that whatever parasites are just having a feast on their blood. And if it's white, like they're, yeah, they're gone. Okay, they're probably gonna die in the next couple of days. The redder the color, the better. So that's what you want. You want a nice red color underneath their eyelids. That's how you can tell if your animals have parasites or not. We still get them treated just in case. They have a pretty big space. So I mean, having parasites isn't something that, you know, it could happen, but it's not gonna be common, but we'll still treat it anyways, because once one of them gets parasites, it could be a disaster for your entire flock of animals. What's going on, Luna? What, what are you watching, Luna? What is that? <laughs> watching some movies okay. here with Luna. <laughs> I watched some movies of uh, my mom, just kind of reminiscing. This one I surprised my mom with something about my grandma. It was a, a, a little gift. And my grandmother passed away. Oh yeah, we brought her, we bought her some crabs. Oh, she's gonna love this. It's like a 3D rendering of my grandmother. Yeah. Aww. Who's that, Luna? Who's that, Luna? Who's that? This is my hey, mom. It's for you. This, this uh, that's her favorite place. I love you, mom. That is awesome. So I get to spend time with my mom again. What are you going in there? <laughs> I miss you, mom. So I like farted in the car while it was raining. No, don't do one more. <laughs> Old Mick Omar had a farm. Yeah, yeah, yo. What are you doing back there, Primo? <laughs> Hey, so we got a little work to do here on the farm. We've been wanting to do this for a while. I gotta take that there housey and move it over there if possible. Yeah, that got turned over from a really bad windstorm. It was over here and now it's on the roof. So either way, we need to fix that. And there goes the goats playing around with the trailer. It is a little hot outside, but I got the air conditioning on. So what's nice about these capsule type tractors, this thing weighs so much. I know my tractor be able to take care of it, but like right now it's upside down. At least we got an extra hand here with the tractor. We'll get her done. I just don't want to break it. And that's what I'm scared of, it breaking. There's a couple little pieces already breaking off. Look at Ray getting crafty over here. That's my boy right there. What are you guys doing on my tractor? What are you doing? You can't climb up there. All right. Let's see if this works. Well, it's working. Thank God for forklifts. Woo! Oh, gosh. Oh, you crazy, bro. Careful. Crazy, move. Oh, 
Oh, sorry, that's Dak. All right, let's give her a whirl. Hopefully this works. Oh, shoot. Okay, not gonna work. It's literally on the little spindle right there. All right, this could be a little dangerous because guess what? It's windy again outside. We're getting a bad thunderstorm. Probably gonna get caught in some rain. Love Florida. Summertime, don't visit Florida in the summer. Best time to visit Florida, fall, winter, and spring. Best weather. We have some of the most beautiful winters. It does get a little brisky. If you wanna come visit theme parks, lower chance of rain for sure. But in the summer, guaranteed, you're gonna get some rain at least by 4 p.m. All right, we're on the other side now. Let's lift her up. This thing is heavy. Uh, we're getting it though. We're getting it. I think we have just enough space to get the trailer under there now. I'm thinking this thing's gonna break my trailer. This is fun. All right. This is the most Cuban rig thing that we've done, but hey, it works. Yes, sir. Come on. I got it. You got it. I got it. You the man. Lo tenemos. All right, we're trying to figure out best way to handle this here. Okay, that's sitting on the trailer already. Okay, good. <laughs> watch out, watch out. Ah, no. Oh, I don't know if this is a good idea. Watch out, watch out, watch out. <laughs> There's a single, by the way. Necesita un girlfriend? No, no, necesitamos un for lift. Un for lift. <laughs> Alright, so I just raised up the trailer. Uh, we're going to try to get that under there, and hopefully, this fits through the gate. A lot of work for a little windstorm, huh? You got it, you almost got it. Almost there. No backup camera. Yep. All right, we getting it. Careful, buddy. There we go. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, there we go. No dogs or goats behind me, right? Okay. Yeah, they chilling under the tree. Look at her go. All right, now I'm worried that might not make it out this gate, so let's see if it works. Uh, oh no, just open the gate. Now we gotta go through another gate, but that gate's the same size if it makes it out of this one. All right, I'm gonna have to get out and double check. All right, let's see. Let's see. Go to your right a little bit. I think we cleared about, I don't know, four feet or so. I mean, you know, like we had four feet extra. So, worked out good. All right, I'm gonna close this. We're gonna open the other one. Other gate should be a 16 foot gate, so we should be good. We didn't even measure that. <laughs> Gotta make sure the cows don't escape. No, 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 no. What are you doing? No, get your butt over there. And she was running. Go. Come on. Go. Ah, ah, ah. No, 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 no. Where are you going? Come on. No, 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 no. Where are you going? No. There we go. There we go. Look how these guys cut the grass for me. Wish I could let them out there, but they just ruined my house. Maybe in the future. All right, fam, we did it. Yeah. With a little help from the boys and the tractor. So I just got this message from my neighbor. Here it is. Hey man, just saying if you want to adopt a dog, or maybe a, a goat, or maybe another dog, taking donations for any of these animals, if you're interested, this one found the jar of gravy, fixing to take it from him. <laughs> Let me have that. These dogs, like, I, I, what do you think? So we're at our neighbors right now. It's raining, I have no idea. Like we were out 
getting gas for the mowers and running some errands and we're gonna have to run some more electrical lines or maybe they just don't care about the electrical lines no, anymore. No, because they haven't jumped over. So when he was out of town, I put electrical wires going across the top of one of the paddocks. Well, now they're digging a hole going through the other paddock and jumping over that fence. So now we just gotta add it to the top of that. If you know anything about Great Pyrenees dogs, they're escape artists and they are the biggest issue at the Safe Haven Ranch. But hopefully they grow out of it. Let's go get these dogs. Here's El Chapo. El Chapo is so much nicer than Tom. He is. Look, so he actually nicer. lets you pet him. Yeah. Hi, buddy. I wish our goats were friendlier. So my buddy Phil has the dogs in the goat area and they haven't escaped that area. So, oh, we should take some notes from them. Or maybe they have escaped and we just don't know. Hi, bud. How you doing? Where's your friendly horse? Where's your friendly horse? Oh my goodness. You know what sucks is I don't have any leashes. I took their collars off because the supposedly Tiffany was looking it up and dogs could sometimes get their collars stuck in the fences and of course get hurt or die from it. So he took them off. I don't want to get struck by lightning. Please God, no. Hey guys, how you guys doing? Come here, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So I told Tiffany that I would walk the dogs and she insisted. She was like, no, I'll take them. We spent the rest of the day yesterday cutting the grass, me and my cousin. So that took <laughs> pretty much the entire day. I have two lawnmowers, so it kind of cuts down on time if I have some help. Tiffany usually helps me when I was out of town in Indiana, she cut the grass on her own. But it was her first time and she kind of didn't do the best job, but I want to like just there's not a lot of women out there that don't mind getting their hands dirty and getting on a lawnmower and cutting some grass. So I just want to give a big shout out to Tiffany because she did an outstanding job for cutting grass for the very first time on a zero turn mower. How was that getting the dogs back there? That was a pain in my arse. I had a couple of y'all reach out to me and ask me if I have like a GoFundMe because I was kind of left with the funeral expenses and. It's a kind of a tough situation because the money that I was gonna use to finish building my home that's, I mean, it's still being built, has to go towards these funeral costs that I wasn't prepared for. And now I'm probably not gonna be able to finish building my house. I mean, at least anytime soon. But I mean, that's okay. At least we have somewhere to live. We're living in a camper and it's fine. So I'm not gonna burden anybody with my burdens. If you wanna help contribute, which would mean the world to me, I am accepting like some Walmart gift cards and everything that's for my niece is at Walmart. I mean, it's just, it's much easier that way. Like if we wanna get her diapers, get her wipes, she has a particular diapers that she does wear and I've gotten them wrong a couple times. She's a, she's not a big girl, but she's not a baby. Oh my gosh. I know she drinks Glucerna for her type one diabetes and it's a particular flavor. So if you wanna help our family out, that would be a tremendous help. All of that money is gonna to go towards my niece if she needs anything to eat, if she needs any diapers. Thank you so much because I know a lot of you wanted to like, you know, donate to a GoFundMe. I, I don't know if I could burden anybody with anything like that, but I mean, hey, if you want to send us like a $10 Walmart card, like that would be awesome. You can send it over to my PO box. I'll make sure that my niece's caretaker gets that and it's going to go 100% towards my autistic niece. The next week is going to be really tough, especially laying my mom to rest. That's going to be happening in, in a couple days. So I'm trying to mentally prepare for that because that's uh, it's going to be a pretty terrible day. Trying to get everybody, at least family members, to dress like in light colors, either white or white and black instead of all black. I know it's traditional at most funerals to wear all black, but I just wanted to be a little bit different. My mom is an angel now. Actually, she's more than an angel, according to the, to the great book. But she's going to be dressed in all white in her casket. And I'm, uh, I'm going to be dressed in all white too. So are you going to be wearing all white? I'm gonna find something all white. Okay. She doesn't like the idea. I love the idea. It's just, you know, as big girls, we don't got white in our closets. <laughs> Black is our color. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, there's a link down in the description to my P.O. box. I'll, uh, I'll throw it up here on the screen too, if in case you don't know what a description is. If you wanna send us any Walmart gift cards for my niece, you could send them there. And shoot me an email to let me know because I don't check my P.O. box all the time. I mean, I. 
let me know that you sent us a Walmart gift card and that would be a tremendous help. And if, if for some reason it can be an electronic version too, um, I don't know if Walmart does anything like that. That might be a little easier and I could just send that over to the caretaker and you know, they can use those funds to help buy my niece like glucerna and diapers, things like that. But anyways, gotta go for now before we leave. Give me a kiss. Yeah.